there's an aesthetic here that would really work for a half hour comedy. And that, that was the kind of faux documentary sort of, uh, sort of approach. Eventually Mitch Hurwitz came in, had a meeting about it and said, I got just the family to use for that story and that approach. And you know, it really allowed us to do something as experimental as, uh, as Arrested Development. Brian and I, without being techies per se, are really curious about all kinds of storytelling. I began looking at the internet and, and feeling, oh, flash animation and short form entertainment. This could be pretty liberating in some ways. Um, funny too. I mentioned it to Steven Spielberg. He said he had been thinking about it as well. He brought in Jeffrey Katzenberg. And we were already, by the way, kicking around ideas about arts education, kicking around ideas about user-generated stuff and things like that. So many of these ideas, a lot of ideas that became things like YouTube and, and uh, you know, and, and uh, Masterclass and things like that were things that we, that we were talking about. But we, we made a lot of the mistakes that a lot of startups did at that time, especially f coming from a traditional um, media background, is we staffed up. You know, we, sh we, we got little crews to shoot things, and we didn't lean heavily on, um, on uh, sort of independently generated content. We, we wanted it to be scripted. We went out to all of our friends. I mean, one good thing that came out of it was the Clint Howard Variety Show. Which well, thanks to uh, Ron Howard, Steven Spielberg, and those wonderful folks at Pop, I'm here at a vacant lot in Burbank. Our biggest problem that became clear after about a year of trying this stuff and experimenting and shooting little pilots and so forth, uh, we could not get brands to pay a nickel. They wouldn't, they would not go there with us. And so we had no revenue source uh, and we didn't really know, you know, how to generate one. We had taken the wrong approach and shuttered it before Paul lost all his money. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and, you know, we had to chalk it up as, uh, as a, a good try. I did love spending time with some of the younger content creators, we didn't call them that then, um, who, you know, had ideas about short films and, 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 uh, uh, and, and working around it and sort of what we hoped to get to, which was something that was emulating this burgeoning sort of reality aesthetic. This was creating a new kind of language. And even though pop.com shuddered, I, I carried that with me and I, I thought there's, a, there's an aesthetic here that would really work for a half hour comedy.